Okay, I brought back the swimming ladder. Not like totally as it should be. I think it should go down just a wee bit. A bit like this. That should be just fine. And then you can actually see one of the things needs to move up a bit. So I'm gonna ask the welder to do that. You know one. Actually fits right nicely where it is supposed to be. So that's super. So just this one needs to move up a bit. And then the swimming ladder should be okay. Ha! That's uh, good news. So you just love the magic of uh, video editing. So I'm uh, hopping back and forth a little bit through time here, but uh, I wanted to do it like this so we can finalize the installation of the uh, Wind Pilot self steer vane. Um, first, I'm Jan. Uh, I'm about to go sailing for an extended period of time. I'm prepping the boat for that. I intend to do it with my family. Uh, but obviously everybody needs to like it. So let's see how that goes. For the wind vane, uh, before uh, we could actually go sail with the boat, we first had to connect the swimming ladder back. Uh, I think a quite fundamental piece of kit. Uh, and it didn't fit because the legs didn't hit the transom properly. So uh, we need to move one of these legs up a bit uh, and because it's stainless uh, and I'm not a stainless steel welder I'm not a welder in any form actually not a good one that is um, I asked the uncle of Joost who you might know from previous episode um, to weld it for me uh, and after I explained him how it should be uh, I brought it away and when it was finished I could pick it up again yeah fixed the letter yeah thank you very much man Amazing job. As you can see, this one is now lower than this one. This one's higher. This one's lower. And guess I'm on the bike. Because that's how we do it in Amsterdam. Just take the bike, whatever happens. So, in order to fix the swimming ladder, I need to cut a bolt. So I can make a marker in the hole, like what is the right place to drill. And I got this huge bag of stainless from a colleague of mine, Rijn. Thank you, Rijn. Very helpful. I haven't sorted it yet. It'll take me some time to do that. Uh, but at least I can find the right size of uh, bolt that I can then use to cut, which is a bit, yeah, of a pity, but then again, yeah, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Mm, that's not going that quick, let's do this different. Made sort of a point on it, not too sharp but sufficient to make a dent in the paint and then I should be able to know where I need to drill. So this cut bolt actually makes it possible to just position the ladder and then hit it a little bit. You get a dent in the paint and from there you can start drilling. That's hot. Uh, the only um, change to the ladder uh, left was to shorten one of the legs because uh, obviously the transom is not flat but it's like at a bit of an angle so if you move one of them up it's too long and the other one doesn't actually get to the point where it should be which is hitting the transom. And with this final adjustment, it was 
time to just bolt the whole thing back up and I think it actually looks pretty good and I can tell you it works like a charm. And there you have it. Now some real true editing magic comes in. We are going to fast forward to a holiday we had with the full family and where I ended up in Enkhuizen with a little bit too much wind. So today it's blowing a bit uh, fierce. Six gusting seven, five, six gusting seven. Or maybe it's five gusting six, but at least too much wind. Uh, in my opinion to sail with the family so we have something else to do which is installing the final part of the wind vane of the REV so I just connected one line here going there through the blocker and I'm going to connect the second line uh, which is this one and then let's see how it all comes together so it all starts with uh, connecting the lines to the lever and uh, from there trying to route them towards the wheel. Uh, did that with a pile stake and obviously it was holiday so we had the dog come in, had to cuddle him a little bit. Um, connecting uh, next was figuring out uh, the lines in front of the uh, or behind the stainless push pit poles. That was a bit of a fiddly process because of the angle. Uh, in the end, mounting the blocks to the push pit, uh, angling them correctly, and uh, trying to go to the double block. Well, coffee in between, it helps to uh, improve the result. Um, the double block was advised to tie with a thin 3mm rope, uh, so that in case of stress it could break. Uh, and then when that was all done, uh, it was uh, uh, checking if uh, everything was uh, free and not shaving. Well, obviously you find out it's not correct, so you have to re-correct it again and change it. And in the end, it was all good. Lines are connected to the uh, lever. They're in the blocks. We're done. Well, yes, but no, because the starboard line, does it go to the top or to the bottom of the drum? Time to call out Steph and to figure it out by looking at the wind, looking at the blade looking at the pendulum looking at the lever and then deciding that the starboard side should be at the bottom of the drum i'm in the position where i could marvel at its beauty that is if it works but i think i connected it correctly it could be wrong and then kind of have to turn the whole setup around uh, but if I did all the thinking correct, now if the wind moves that vane, steering thingy, this thing turns and moves. So let's assume it moves this way. And you actually see the steering wheel move as well, one way. Uh, yeah, so everything is nice. There's no rubbing, no touching, no nothing. So it's all free. This is a little bit close, but it's fine. So there is a little cord here, which is like three mil, as in the instruction manual. And it is to, uh, if there is an overload to the system, this will snap. I guess it'll snap. And then you don't break the whole system. And then here we have a Stachkicker, we call it. So a stay frog. <laughs> stay frog. Uh, and with that, you can actually move that. Let me show that to you. And now you can see that when turning the wheel, you can actually turn the shaft. And then, before I knew it, I was sort of done. And I could just marvel at its beauty by moving it by hand.
Now you can marvel at its beauty and moving it by hand, but that is basically exactly not the point of the whole thing. So the only proof of the putting in is in eating it, and in this case is in using it while under sail. So please join me in the magical moment Peter had already predicted, the moment where the wind vane should take over. Okay, well there we go, the blade is on. Let's see what this does. I'm like super scared. Okay, well, it's in there. <laughs> Zonder handjes! It works! Oh my god! This is like amazing! Look! It works! <laughs> Damn, fuck. Okay, sorry, I make you very happy! Look! Look at that! It just works! Fucking magic! And look, Peter, I think I trimmed the seals correctly, right? It doesn't do a lot. Oh, did it that? Weird! It just works out of the box. Beetje veel slack nog op die lijn. Je ziet hem een beetje. Beetje pingelen, maar. Uh... <laughs> Doe jij het stuur even, dan uh, ga ik even. So amazing! Look at this! And it's all mechanical, that's what I like best. So if it wears, there is a line that wears, or. Something else mechanical, but. This just works like a charm. Actually very nimble alterations in the wind that are perfectly translated to the steering wheel. And yes, I need to cut that obviously, but for now it's I wasn't sure whether or not the length of the line was properly uh, properly. And the other bow also works like a charm and actually the uh, overstag manoeuvre, I don't know how to call it but the overstag works really easy you basically unlock the wheel and you do the uh, maneuver and then you adjust the wind vane and then you lock it again after you find the right course it's like super easy yes it worked we thought about it correctly or actually we kind of figured it out correctly and it is actually now working on the back of the boat well currently it's winter i'm inside the boat the vane is inside the boat but if it's on the boat i know how to connect it then it actually works and it was definitely a magical magical moment seeing that thing work no electricity just the wind and the preciseness of steering was uh, was truly, truly magical. I would say we have unlocked a new dimension. Sasha just tried to sleep and I'm trying, or I am amazed still with how this works. It's quite 
it really works like a charm. It keeps the boat at a very stable speed. I'm really looking forward to look at that speed and see if it is as stable as how I perceive it. But it's like constantly doing five over ground, which we really had a hard time doing manually. So uh, quite impressive indeed. Now I can fully imagine that I was like very impressed with the performance of that machine but obviously it's nice to see the data and proof that it actually was steering faster than we were steering by hand and it's interesting to see that data so if you look at the position of the red dot you actually see the start of the usage of the vein um, from there you see the end uh, and the part in between and i positioned the dot in the middle now you actually see that on both tacks there is a lot less variance in the speed of the boat. So what you basically see is because the boat is adjusting or the vane is adjusting so quickly, a lot quicker than you can do by hand, it just loses a lot less speed. And thus on long stretches, because this was about, I would say, 45 minutes, on long stretches, this is really going to make a big, big difference. Keeping the boat on course is one thing a wind vane can do. Keeping morale up is another thing a wind vane can do. And to boost its capability of boosting our morale, uh, I thought it would be a good idea to ask Famous Lefty, a famous tattoo artist in the Netherlands that actually tattooed Sasha, uh, but also created a, an amazing uh, piece of art in our living room, combining boats with ladies which is always a great recipe, uh, to visualize uh, the flip side of life. So basically everything has an up and a downside, and he actually did an amazing job capturing that in great, great visual artwork. So on the one side, you have the million and one reasons why not to go, while on the other side, you have the reason why you should just go. That actually brings me to something that I have heard, uh, that there are quite a few people that give their wind vane a name. And I thought Flipje would be a good name for our wind vane. It's a typically Dutch name, it's very well known, and to me it represents both sides of sailing. Sometimes it's fun, sometimes it's not, but in any case it's always rewarding. Not only rewarding, because you accomplish the task of sailing, getting to a destination, a foreign port, uh, achieving the actual sail, but also because it connects you with people, new people you haven't met in a harbor, people that reach out to you, new people you meet on YouTube because you make vlogs about it, uh, but also people like Peter who has wind vanes that you can install on your boat, your brother that takes you there and with him you have a great time picking it up, Somebody like Rijn giving you a bag of bolts, which they say then may, might be handy, and indeed it is handy. Or even your wife, Sasha, who supports me in this trip uh, and helps to uh, hold the MF on the back of the transom of the boat or join me in sailing and actually overcomes her own fears. I think sailing is really connecting. I love it and uh, I love making these videos as well. So one request for you. If you had a, a wind vane, if you would want to have a wind vane, if you had a wind vane and it had a name, or you want to give it a name, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I would really like to learn. Also, let me know what you think of the name Flipje that I gave to uh, our wind vane. Um, and don't forget to watch the end of this video, because there you will see Famous Lefty.
So if you ever want a wing thing and you want something on it that makes you go to where you want to go, call Aaron. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a good story. Yeah. Thank you very much, man. Yeah. Amazing. I'm happy for you.